Hello fellow AI enthusiasts, this video is slightly different from my usual topics, but still in the realm of AI. I shall be checking out Sora for the first time ever. If you were not aware of it before, Sora is the AI video generation model from OpenAI. It's been hyped for a really long time already, and I think that people from the US got access to it some time ago. But as I am from Europe, I have only now noticed that it has become available to me. If you go use ChatGPT, you can find the icon to it there. Or you can go to Sora.com. If you have an existing subscription to ChatGPT, you can log in with the same account and use the same plan with Sora. I don't think it is available with the free plan, you have to be on at least the plus plan to be able to create videos. It seems you can create about 17 5-second videos with the cheapest plan. And after that it seems that you can do some relaxed videos one at a time. Similar to Midjourney's relaxed mode where the generation will probably take longer, but at least you can still do something even if your credits run out. The user interface looks pretty much like ChatGPT, you just enter your prompt, like you would prompt ChatGPT, and it will generate a video for you. From the plus icon next to the text, you can add an image or a video for inspiration. I tried this out with a few images that I generated in mid-journey. I was not too impressed with the results. Usually, Sora just replaced whatever was in my image and kind of created its own stuff that came in and replaced whatever was there. The other menu options are for setting the aspect ratio. You can do either 16 by 9, 1 by 1 or 9 by 16. Then you can also set the quality of your video. This is also restricted by plan, so with the cheapest plan, the maximum video quality seems to be 720p. You can get higher video quality if you are on the more expensive $200 plan. You can also set the length of the video. It seems to be by default, 5 seconds for 720p videos. I think if you lower the quality, you would be able to generate longer clips. There is also a possibility to set how many variations you would like to see. For me, I have the four variations grayed out, and I also selected to have only one variation per video I was trying to create. And the last button is for presets. There are some that exist there already like Archival, Film Noir, Cardboard and Papercut, Whimsical Stop Motion and Balloon World. I tried all of them out, and they do seem to add some type of an effect to the videos. And you can also create some yourself. You also have the storyboard option which reminds a video editing program. And when you have generated a video and click to open and view it, you have some more options available to edit your video further. You can change the prompt with edit prompt. You can open your video in the storyboard view with view story. You can possibly extend or shorten your video with recut button. Remix button will take the created video as a base and you can describe what changes you would like to see. Blend will do a transition between your created video and another one. It seems it can be a video that you upload or a video that you have created with Sora, and Loop will make your video loop continuously. I discovered you need to cut it smaller a bit to make the clip under 5 seconds for the loop. I think it just creates the start and end so that they will blend seamlessly together. So that's pretty much it. The rest, you have to figure out yourself as in how to prompt so that you will get your desired result. I am still a beginner with this, so I tried out all kinds of things. I tried asking ChatGPT for good prompts to try out. I tried shorter prompts, and longer prompts, and very long prompts. Sora seems to be struggling with some of the more abstract stuff and always seems to default the more regular things. There is a top page for videos that have become popular, so there can be pretty interesting stuff that can be created with this. But to be honest, my creations were kind of weird and boring and not at all what I would have expected. And also, there seems to be an issue with the typical AI stuff, like a person having three arms or a fish growing a second tail out of its head. And sometimes, Sora really struggles to depict whatever you want to make. Basically, throwing in just the words that it recognizes and not doing what the prompt instructed it to do. The presets seem to help a lot. From all of the presets I tried, they did have somewhat nice results. 
I think my best video came out with the archive preset of the antique dolls dancing. A short prompt, but it did pretty good. I also tried to create some of my own presets with the help of ChatGPT. I checked out some of the top videos too, and some of them had a really long word salad prompt and other ones were pretty short. So I guess you can keep it short and you do need to describe some kind of activity or action. Otherwise, you will end up with a pretty static video. Overall seems to be kind of a hit and miss. I've had nicer stuff from other video generators in the past. Sora does do some reality quite well, but there is definitely room for improvement. If you wanted to use this in place of stock footage, then be prepared for multiple attempts at creating a video you are satisfied with. I was kind of disappointed that my credits ran out so fast. I feel like I didn't even get to have a grasp of how to prompt so you would get some really nice outcomes. I am grateful that there is a relaxed option that helped me to keep testing out the prompts and you have seen my attempts in order as I went along. But for once, I think this is a video generator where direct prompting is kind of better than providing it an image to go from. Other video generators seem to at least semi-successfully animate the image that you provide it. But Sora seems to take your image as the first second, and then it seems to backwards engineer your image to a prompt that takes the video over. Also, Sora seems to be preferring photorealism as the overall style. So, in my opinion it's fun to play around with, very difficult to master in its current state, and I think I'll keep waiting for the long-awaited mid-journey video model. Yes, the quality can be at times a bit more realistic than other video generating AIs have been able to do, but it comes at a cost of Sora just doing whatever it wants without really listening to your prompt. It seems to be somewhat okay when your prompt specifically wants to do something like you would see in stock footage. I'm guessing that Sora has been trained mostly on stock footage so that's why it's better at that. Animals come out quite well, especially animals doing things that humans usually do. So, not perfect yet. You can get some pretty nice results occasionally, but it seems to be more trial and error. I wasn't trying to create anything specific, just playing around with it with all kinds of prompt lengths and techniques. But I wasn't fully happy with the majority of the videos that I got. But after a while, the relaxed mode really comes in handy to get some practice in with the prompts. All the other video generation AIs become really expensive after a while to do this kind of trial and error with the prompts. Because others just usually have a certain amount of credits, and if you run out, you need to pay money, there usually is no free slower option available. Anyway, it's still a long way off from being perfect all the time. And for the time being, it seems that us humans are still needed to develop our prompting skills to get nice and actually desired results. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Have you already tried out Sora? Are you planning to? Or do you prefer other video generation models? Thank you so much for watching and let's continue prompting.